All right, guys, so in this video, we're just going to be covering the sun features of V-Ray. Uh, we had already gone over under rendering all the different lights, all the lights there. Uh, I personally don't use these very often. If I'm doing an interior, uh, there's a chance I'd actually pull up some additional lights, but the sun panel here is, is really, really beneficial. Um, nine times out of ten, I just use these uh, manual controls and set where I want the sun. And uh, north of the equator, the sun comes from east to west, and it's to the south. Uh, south of the equator, of course, the sun is up on the northern side. Uh, so for accurate renderings, you're going to want to have a sun position that seems to make sense. Um, so I'll bring it down here to the south. I can bring the sun up into the sky. Obviously, the sun is going to be above the horizon, not below. I mean, this would be a nighttime rendering, which doesn't make a lot of sense to use the sun. Uh, so I'll bring it up there, uh, click OK, and then I can position it anywhere in the scene. I'll just snap it right there, and you can see that there's there's the sun shining down onto the object. If I go ahead and render it right now, we'll see, like we saw before, it's going to be kind of washed out, uh, completely blown out, but that's OK. Uh, I'm going to do a quick thing and just make sure that my settings, I have a physical camera on. We'll talk about this in the next video, but I just want to make sure I can show you guys in a, a nice rendering uh, so you get the idea. So here we are. It's still a little blown out. That's fine, but you can see the shadow it's starting to cast because of where the sun is. If I go ahead and just increase this a little bit further and drop down my ISO maybe, we might be able to get a, a more accurate picture of what's going on there. We're still having some some issues, and we'll go over that in materials and how to differentiate the plane from the box. But you're starting to see that there's this nice gradient shadow that falls off the object. Um, if you wanted to be a little more precise with it, uh, V-Ray allows for that. I went ahead and deleted that sun, and instead of controlling manually, I can unclick that, and I get uh, you know a ton more options here on what to do. If I come through here, I could actually find uh, a city uh, that we can use the latitude and longitude. Uh, let's see, Philadelphia, there we are. So it's actually positioned us there. I can also click anywhere on the map uh, and just you know go with that. Now I'm on Baltimore, that works. And it actually shows you your, your latitude and longitude in the world. Uh, and then as I come up here, I can click kind of the time of day from midnight to midnight uh, and then pick the month I'm in. Uh, you can see the daylight hours shift based on kind of the, the cycle of the sun and where we are. Uh, so if we're in July, uh, we can come and, and say that's July 22nd. We can control the actual date. We can control the actual time. We can slide this, and we can see the sun position is updating. So if I wanted to do like a late afternoon, maybe 5, 6 o'clock, you can see the sun is starting to low. It's a little above west. And I can come back, click OK, and go ahead and put that in the scene. So there's the sun. If I come around this side, render again, um, you start to see these long shadows, and that's exactly what you'd expect late in the afternoon. Um, so now we're going to go into the next video, which is covering camera settings. Uh, the sun is great. Uh, make sure each time you put a new sun in, you delete your old sun. Uh, having two suns would mean you're not on Earth.